Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro. Now, today we're going to talk about how to root this particular device and how to install the MIUI system launcher, which gives you access to Android 10 gestures. At the same time, after rooting, we are going to fix safety net issues and we are going to fix Play Store not certified so that not only you have root access and the MIUI 12.5 launcher, but you will also be able to use your banking applications and everything else just as you would on a non-rooted device but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where we are about to hit a thousand members so go ahead and support us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so first things first, this guide will work from, you know, any Android device, any Xiaomi device, it will work fine. The only thing is the MIUI launcher or the system launcher thing will up, you know, work for devices which are running MIUI 12 or 12.5 in case you still don't have it. Like, you know, this device here, this device here, this device here, all of them come with the POCO launcher. And if you have root access, this is a very, very easy way of replacing that and getting, you know, different recents and global icon animations and all those things now that is the part about poco phones but the major part that we're talking about in this video is about routing and having banking applications work at the same time if you see over here this is something weird that i have noticed of lately i just flashed the official stock rom from the recovery but if we go to settings over here it does say that the device is not certified. So Play Store device not certified, we are going to fix that as well. It will be a step-by-step -step process around five to 10 minutes. So make sure your phone has more than 50% battery. You won't be formatting your phone. So, you know, it's okay if you're not backing up and stuff, but when you're doing something like this, it's always a good idea to make sure you do a backup just in case something goes wrong. You will need an unlocked bootloader. You will need TWRP installed. In our case, we are using the K20 Pro with the latest Orange Fox Recovery stable version. So the files that we will need would be the Magisk zip or Magisk APK which you will use to you know root the phone and you will need an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. At the same time you will need the MIUI launcher zip and the universal safety net fixed. Everything else that we need will be installed from within Magisk as well and within two or three reboots we should be good to go. So first things first we will check here as you can see we are on the latest Indian stable update. So settings, about phone, this is 12.0.5. We don't have root access installed. Now I have linked all the files in Telegram and the respective links are mentioned in the description. So first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your file manager and click on magisk23.apk, allow install unknown apps, wait for five seconds and hit accept. Okay, then go back one step and install it. Open the Magisk app. Now, as you can see over here, it says not installed RAM disk. No, that means that Magisk is not installed. This is just the app. And if you check the safety net, it will say that it fails, right? That's because CTS profile is not passing because of the device not being certified. So now what we need to do is we need to go to file manager again, press and hold this APK select more and select rename and erase the apk part and rename it to .zip zip okay it, if it gives you a warning hit okay all right so we are good we have the magisk zip now right so what we're going to do next is we are going to flash magisk right that's what we are going to do but before we do that there is one step that we are going to follow we will register the device so that uh, you know we can go ahead and uh, get our device not certified error fixed so over here in the play store you need to go to the search option and look for device id all right you're looking for this one by evozi device id with a blue android icon hit accept okay hit open continue okay now over here google services framework tap on that and hit copy go to the main screen and go to google chrome 
right I've just formatted the phone so now you need to go to a particular URL so we need to go to G O O G L E dot C O M then a forward slash and then Android that is A N D R O I D okay and slash uncertified so go here all right it'll ask you to sign in using your google id so sign in using your gmail all right once you are signed in or if you already signed into chrome click on i am not a robot and tap here okay and over here paste the framework that you had copied all right and then click on register device register id converted to decimal all right now that part is done now we're going to press and hold volume up and power till the time we see the redmi logo to boot into twrp recovery so that we can root this device now over here let's go to download and we have majisk version 23.zip so select this and swipe to confirm flash now what we are doing is we are routing the phone so we have registered the device on google to fix the you know device not certified and now we are routing it after which what we are going to do is we are going to install all the modules required to fix safety net and we will also install the launcher and then we will do a reboot and then we should be good to go this is not going to be a very very long guide if you follow it step by step in about five to seven minutes you should be able to have root access with banking applications and the miui system launcher which xiaomi doesn't give to indian devices so let's wait for the phone to boot up all right now if we go to majisk over here now you will see that it says installed version 23 so what we'll do is we will go to this modules tab okay and over here the first file that you see is majisk hide props config so you need to download and install it okay don't reboot yet go back go to the modules section and select install from storage and in my case i have it you know in the download section but one by one you need to install these two modules so first we'll select the miui launcher and then go back select modules and install from storage again and select the safety net fix okay now for us all the three majisk modules that are needed have been installed successfully so go back and go to the settings of majisk all right and over here you need to go to majisk hide and you need to enable it all right now go back one step and select the second shield option and go to majisk hide now what you'll do over here is you will click this search icon and over here you will type in Google. All right. Now at this point, if you have any banking applications which you want to hide, you can hide them as well. So any banking application or any application that has a problem with root access, you can go ahead and hide it like I've hidden all the Google services. All right. So hiding that part is taken care of, right? Now what we'll do is we will go back to the main screen, okay? And now we will do a simple reboot. So at this point, we've gone ahead and installed the launcher and the safety net fix, all right? So uh, we have also, you know, gone ahead and done the device registration. So when we boot now, we should have the new system launcher and we should be able to fix the Play Store device not certified as well as safety net should be fixed. And as I said, whenever you are installing a new banking application, make sure you first open Majisk, okay, and then hide it there, all right? So the device has rebooted. Now first, let's check out the system launcher. So over here, let it load everything, all right? So if you go to settings, and if you go to home screen, default launcher is system launcher. okay now if you go to settings over here go to more default launcher system launcher home screen with app drawer okay home screen layout arrange items in recents you can have horizontal recents as well show memory status and now the main part which we talked about the android 10 gestures right so you can go to additional settings full screen display and full screen gestures not now you can also hide the full screen indicator now as you can see 
the system launcher is working with the new you know recent look and everything else so it's working absolutely fine now what we need to do next is we need to check if the play store is certified or not but before we do that we will press and hold the play store icon and go to app info and we will do a clear all data remember you need to do clear all data not uninstall updates okay then go ahead and open play store okay go to settings now it'll take some time for this to display that the device is certified meanwhile we can also go ahead and check the safety net okay let's install this real quick at the same time, I will also install a couple of examples. For example, the SBI Yono app, which has problem with root. Okay, this is Yono SBI install and we can also have DigiLocker. Okay, now don't launch any of the applications. So first things first, as you can see over here, safety net test, run test passed cts profile match passed which means we should get a play store passed over here there is one more step remaining so please be patient all right device is certified okay now remember we still have the magisk application over here so you need to go to the shield icon and go to hide now remember we added two banking applications one is the sbi you know and one is the device a digital locker right so you know sbi select that now go back one step and go to the settings and select hide the magisk app okay you can name it whatever you want hit ok wait for it to rename it and create a sandbox all right now this settings wff is just you can rename it whatever you want we've done all the steps now let's see if digilocker works as you can see no error about having root access you know sbi no error whatsoever so these apps are not even detecting that you have root access on your phone and pretty much any banking application should be working absolutely fine only thing that you need to take care of is every time you install a banking application before you open it first open this hidden magisk app go here select magisk hide add that application like tick mark over here then go to the main screen, clear all the reasons and then launch that application and you should be good to go. So, you know, this was a step by step guide for Xiaomi and Poco users in which we did a bunch of things. We rooted the device, we fixed the safety net, we fixed device not certified in Play Store. We also installed the MIUI 12.5 system launcher which gives you Android 10 reasons. I really, really hope this will help a lot of people. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.